Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and today I'm going to talk about your feet. Now, the last video was about your hands, so it's only appropriate that uh, I talk about your feet. And I get a lot of questions about feet. We stand on them all the time. They take a beating. Uh, different shoes, improper shoes, shoes that are too loose, too tight, flip-flops, uh, heelless sandals make the muscles of the feet work a lot harder than they need to and as a result fatigue sets in foot injuries occur then the knees hurt the hips hurt the back hurt people can even get a headache if there's a problem with their feet so if you if you go back to my previous videos on the channel there's definitely a video on how to stretch the feet and ankles uh, today I just want to talk a little bit more about the structure of the foot um, if you take a look at the bottom of my foot here okay uh, you will see what's called the ball of the feet the toes, okay, you have your heel or calcaneus. And one of the most common pains that occurs is when the calcaneus or heel gets misaligned relative to the two, what your ankles, the bones on either side. Now, a lot of people think that these bones on either side are two separate bones, but uh, I'm sorry, are one bone, but the ankles are actually two bones. Okay, the one on the inside is called the medial malleolus, the one on the outside is called the lateral malleolus, and this calcaneus or heel sits between them. Uh, one of the best things you could do for your feet is uh, once a day is roll them, stretch them out, okay? Uh, don't let them take one position for too long a period of time. Uh, a lot of children today like to sit in front of their computer on one foot. And believe it or not, I actually have a lot of parents bring their children in, uh, par uh, their children in to see me for that foot because it's all distorted and warped and hurts the kid when they play soccer. It's because they're sitting on it. So if you do sit on your feet, don't sit on your feet anymore. Um, also, keep in mind, there's a whole, if you go back to my Anatomy of Chi videos, which are also uh, earlier on in the channel, uh, I talk about the feet and how they formed embryologically, uh, and I'm not going to go over that now, it'll take too long, uh, but at the very bottom of the foot here is an acupuncture pole, point called Kidney One, and it's a revival point. So you will find that as you go behind the ball of your foot, and you dig in there, it might be a little tender now. Uh, back in the ancient times, uh, let's say, for example, the uh, martial artists of, of the 18th century and before, uh, when they would fight, uh, practice full contact, very often somebody would get knocked out, uh, and their uh, teacher would come over and work on kidney one to revive them. It was a revival point. Well, if you're not knocked out, uh, what you can do is pick up your body's energy by massaging that point. In Tai Chi, one of the major goals of Tai Chi is to sink internally and root with the earth. What does that mean? We're trying to get all of our body tension to relax down, and we're trying to connect to the earth through the point called kidney one. There you go again, the same point. So obviously it uh, has a lot of importance uh, besides just standing on them in terms of our whole body's well health and well-being. A lot of people tell me, Mark, I got my back massage the other day. Hey, it was okay, but boy, when they worked on my feet, I felt really good. Well, keep in mind that there's a whole uh, plethora of acupuncture points which terminate in the feet. So if you massage your own feet and along the arch of the foot, you could dig in with your thumb in little circles. Okay. Like so. And you can massage the kidney one. You could actually do that same circular massage down the midline of your foot. And that will help you feel a little bit more energized and your feet won't hurt. Then your back will feel better. Then your neck will feel better. And you may not get headaches. It's like a chain. I've even had people had TMJ, uh, temporal mandibular mandib joint issues because their feet were tense and tight. And keep in mind, you drive, you use your feet as pedal, you know, on the foot pedals, you walk, you run. The feet take a lot of punishment. So again, you want to take care of your feet. They take good care of you. Uh, you only get one set, just like with the hands. Uh, and the more uh, you work on them, uh, the more results you'll find. Uh, you'll get, um, also I mentioned last time, uh, opening up the hand in a specific pattern, pulling the fingers, middle, ring, index, pinky, thumb. You could do the same with your toes. Uh, well, it's hard to see here, but middle, ring. Well, some people do wear rings on their toes index pinky and if this big toe is the thumb now it's a little hard when I actually do that I actually pull them in an arc when I actually 
open them up. And if they crack, they crack. That's just release of nitrogen gas from the joint itself. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. We want to open them up. We want to feel like the feet are more pliable. And if you want to see the most pliable feet on the planet, go take a look at baby's feet. They're nice and soft. And we lo everybody loves to play with baby's feet. Our feet should be as soft as baby's feet. We get calluses from walking around. Like I said, feet are punished. Uh, so take good care of your feet. And I hope this is a start. And ask me any questions. Uh, a couple of people emailed me and asked me where I've been this past few weeks. Well, I'm writing a book that's going to tie all these ideas from all the videos together. Uh, it's completed. Just to let you know, it's going through editing right now. Uh, then it will we'll be uh, formatted for uh, iPad, for Kindle, and for Nook, and possibly having some uh, paper copies made as well. So stay in touch. That will I'll. Trust me, I'll let you know all about it here on YouTube and on my website and on my blog, markrosenbergdc.com. Um, and thanks for coming by. And thanks for telling your friends. I really appreciate it. Love this channel. Grow even more than it has. And um, good to see you. Bye.